Hello everybody, I'm Avian Solar. This is going to be the first episode in a new series I'm calling Improving Roleplay. So the aim of this series is to inspire officers to develop their own roleplay, to create fun and interesting dialogue between both police and civilians, and hopefully to improve the level of roleplay on the server as a whole. So the first thing I'm going to look at is interviewing suspects. For this I'm going to look at opening interview and introducing yourself to the suspect, how I question a suspect, and finally what I do when it comes to deciding a sentence and a punishment to the suspect. So opening interview. First thing I do is introduce myself. Hello, I'm Police Constable Avion Solar of the Kavala Police Department. It's nice and simple. It lets them know who you are and which department you're from. Next, the time and the date. For the time, I like to use the in-game time, which you can find on the top right-hand corner of the map screen. Also, you can find it if you hold the O key on your keyboard. A little watch will come up and you can read the time off that. The location, you know, quite simply, where you are. So, we're in an interview room at Kavala Police Station. Ask the suspect for their name. You might or not know their name already, so this is the perfect time to ask. Try to get their name, that will allow you to do searches on the warrant database and check for licenses as well. Let them know why they've been arrested. Sometimes they get to this stage and they're still not quite sure why they've been arrested. So let them know. Let them know every charge, every offence you believe they've committed. And finally, caution them. It's not strictly necessary to do the stage, but it's a nice little touch and I find it adds a bit more. I use the British caution, which is, you do not have to say anything, but it may harm your defence if you do not mention, when questioned, something which you will later allow in court. Anything you do say may be given evidence. Moving on to questioning. I like to start the interview questions with a nice big open question. So, something along the lines of, tell me about what happened in Kavala Square, or what was happening when I arrived on scene. That gives a suspect the chance to give their account. Let me know what happened before I got there, and a bit of context behind what, what, was, seeing, what was happening. Once you've got an account, or if they refuse to give an account, ask more close questions. Where were you at this time? What were you doing? Did you have a gun out? Did you shoot this person? Do you have any firearms on you? This can also be used to clarify any points you're unsure of. For example, if you thought you heard the person say, Yes, I shot the guy, it may be worth clarifying that. You know, saying, So just to be clear, you're telling me you did pull out your rook and you did shoot the person. Just ask them the question and get them to... They might just say, yes, that's correct. And finally, if you believe they're lying to you, challenge it. For example, if you saw someone shoot someone, and they're saying, no, I didn't, challenge them saying, well, I saw you do it. They may reconsider and actually give you another story this time, and it might be it's less credible in that situation then as well. When it comes to sentencing, I first consider, has an offence actually been committed? So, have they committed any offences? Or, for example, is it self-defence? In which case, no offences have really been committed and they can be let on the way. What would be the standard punishment for this sort of offence? The APC handbook contains a table of fines and prison sentences for different offences. Have a look at that and see what it recommends in there. Is there any evidence for or against the suspect? Did you see what happened? Did another officer see what happened? Did a member of the civilians see what happened? That can all be taken into consideration. Are there any mitigating factors? The example I'm going to use for this is there is someone VDMing in Kavala Square. A rebel pulls out their pistol 
and shoots them. You show up just as it's happening and all you see is the rebel shooting this driver. You arrest the rebel, take him to the police station and he say, puts his hands up and says, yes I did shoot him, he was running people over. That's a mitigating factor. If he was running people over, then it might be worth just giving him a warning and saying next time call the police instead of doing it yourself. Are there any aggravating factors? Going back to that previous situation where the VDM, you go and try and arrest him, he turns around with a legal firearm and tries to shoot you. That's an aggravating factor. He's got an illegal firearm, which is one. He also then tried to resist arrest by shooting you. So not only does he need to be arrested and dealt with for the attempt to murder a police officer and resist an arrest, he's also got the illegal firearm. So that could be all taken into consideration and you can increase the sentence taking, taking that in. Next we're going to look at two examples of me putting this into practice. Alright sir, my name is Police Constable Avian Sola with the Kavala Policing Department. The time by my watch is 20 past 12 on the 17th of September 2020. Can I have your name please? Uh, yeah, my name is Bucky. Okay sir, so you've been brought here on suspicion of attempted murder of police officer and attempted murder of a... Uh, just a guy was in the street, as well as possession of a legal of a legal firearm. Before we discuss this, mate, I've got to caution you. One sec, mate. Let me finish. Let me finish, mate. Before we can discuss this, mate, I've got to caution you. You do not have to say anything, but it may harm your defence if you do not mention when questioned something that you later learn in court. Anything you do say may be an evidence. Do you understand that? Yeah. All right. So tell me what had happened. Yeah, they shoot me, so they just out of my way. And he's like, yeah, they're shooting me, so they just shot me. And then you guys just turned up and then, yeah. Alright, sir. So, um, you, s you said the other guy asked you to shoot him, is that correct? Yeah, he wanted to be useful. He must have had something like metal nail or anything. Uh, metal nail or anything, don't you? Yeah, then why did you, uh, didn't you explain that to me? Why did you just go straight around and try to shoot me? All right, so uh, you were intending to go and c kill police officers then? Uh, no, you, you just said, uh, uh, just put your hands up. I got a bit, bit jolted, finger slipped, and then just kept slipping. All right, so for that case, for the, cr for the crime of murder, because assisted suicide is, uh, is not legal, and the crime... Crime of attempted murder of a police officer, as well as possession of a legal firearm, I'm going to give you 15 years. Can you shut the fuck up outside, please? Okay, so my name's Police Constable Avian Solo of the Kavala Police Department. With me is Detective Sergeant Fatman One, also of Kavala Police Department. Time by my watch is two minutes past one on the 17th of September 2020. Can I have your name, please? Uh, my name is Claude. Okay, Claude, you've been arrest brought here today under arrest for suspicion of theft of a government vehicle, mainly a police car. Before we can discuss this, though, I do have to caution you. You do not have to say anything, but it may harm your defence if you do not mention when questioned, something which you later on in court. Anything you do say may be in evidence. Do you understand that? Uh, yes. Alright. I did notice that firearm on your back, so at this time I'm further arresting you for being in possession of an illegal firearm, okay? Uh, yes. Alright, so talk to me about what happened with that police car. Um, I 
was just uh, bringing it to the officer, but I didn't realize it was such a bad idea. Why are we just bring it to the officer? It was uh, not far away from it. Um, hmm. That's a good question because I don't really know. Alright, so I'm satisfied you've uh, committed a twock of a government vehicle. Let's talk about the firearm now. Why are you in possession of an illegal firearm? Um, uh, I was with a officer on um, just a ride and we, we visited a robbery and there was a house with free loot and I think I, I was allowed to take the loot and I took the gun at the same time but I haven't used it. Alright, so I'm go we're going to be seizing that firearm from you and then we're going to be issuing you a 75k ticket for the theft of government vehicle as well as possession of an illegal firearm, okay? Alright. Alright, let's just uh, take that off you now. Let's note down the serial numbers just to make sure it gets pointed to evidence properly. Alrighty. And just sign at the bottom there, please. Alright, I'll restrain you then, you're free to go.